teacher, high school English teacher, and an award winner. He's here to tell us about his latest book and how he got started as an author. Michael, how are you doing? Good. Good, that's great to hear. I know that it can be an early morning in here. You actually had quite the drive this morning as well. Bit, yeah. You're a high school teacher in Wyoming. Where at there? Um, I teach in Newcastle High School. Newcastle High School, mm -hmm. which is in Wyoming. It's about an hour away. Thanks for making that drive. Now you're here because you have a lot of roles. Teacher, dad, <laughs> husband. It looks like you are also an author, yes. an award-winning author. You've got a couple of your books here. Um, I guess, do you kind of want to explain what awards you've done and kind of about your books there? Sure, sure. So, um, started writing the scary short stories and I published my debut collection and um, this is it, Boarded Windows, Dead Leaves. Okay. And I was fortunate to receive the, the 2020 Indies Today Best Horror Book Award and um, just recently, I followed it up with my, my second collection, okay. and it also received the same award wow, for this year. Wow, that's pretty cool. So two, were, two awards, and is it the, in the same um, category? Yes. Okay, yeah. perfect, awesome. Now, what's that first book kind of about? So, um, ever since I was a, a small <laughs> child, I, I've been really interested in, in all things scary, and. So it's, it's a collection of nine scary stories. Um, the stories were published in various outlets, and when I had enough to put a book out, I um, found a publisher, uh, Spooky House Press, out of New York, okay. and, and they released my book. Well, that's very exciting. So you're a teacher and an author. How did you get started as an author if you're a teacher, or which one came first? Um, so I was a teacher first. <laughs> this, this is my 12th year teaching. Wow. Very yeah, impressive. yeah. Being a teacher and, and being a dad doesn't really give you a lot of free time. I, I know. <laughs> so that's that's why it took me some time to get uh, acclimatized to my roles and of course. And I eventually found um, spare time to to put pen to paper. Awesome. So do you teach what what subject do you teach? I teach English. Okay, so this perfectly lines up. Yeah. Awesome. Um, I guess what kind of got your process for horror books? Oh gosh. Um, you know, uh, one reason why I'm an English teacher is <laughs> when I was a kid, I, I fell in love with, with literature, um, reading Edgar Allan Poe yeah. in, in junior high and um, the Goosebumps books, of course, but just fell immediately in love. Awesome. And so that's kind of transcribed into what you're writing today. So you've got these two books. Is there another one happening in the future? That's the plan. Um, <laughs> very, very early in the process, but yeah, that is yeah. the plan. So what does that writing process kind of look like when you're writing a book like this? Um, gosh, inspiration just is weird. It strikes at odd Different times. times. Yes, yeah. absolutely. So is it, do you, are you one of those people that you get inspiration and you have to write it down right away? or? Yeah, sort of, kind of. Yeah, yeah. I've got uh, spare pieces of paper with <laughs> ideas around the house. Yeah, of course. And is it kind of just random sporadic moments, or is there a theme? Um, gosh, uh, sort of, kind of. Like, sometimes there's a theme, sometimes it's just completely random. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us this morning, Michael. It's fun to learn about all the things you're doing, trying to balance it all, I'm sure. Well, coming up.